hello guys good afternoon welcome back to my youtube channel if you are just seeing my face for the first time you're welcome on board this is jessica with 224 i'm super excited to be on your screen today yeah you might be wondering who this is we have a guest in the house I started. and uh i've started <laughs> we have a guest in the house and we have one mini guest here come down i want to feature you on my channel <laughs> So it's not really willing to be on board. We have one mini guest in the house here. Okay. Today. This. Hey, I'll just. <laughs> okay, please just. Dude, sorry, sorry, don't worry. Oh, this boss is cut out my video. <laughs> okay. I will allow him to introduce himself. Okay, um, hi everyone. I personally send my greetings across. You. I a member of Great Evangelism or Crusade. Actually, I'll be talking on a topic, not a topic, not actually a topic, just a word, but then it will be in its perspective in the theological aspect. Um, I'll be talking about value. Uh, we all know what it means for someone to say value, you know, but then I will a little bit disclose a um, a layman understanding about value. Value is something that is held prestige, um, something that is what um, deserve and the usefulness of something. Now, why I said I'm going to talk about it in a theological aspect is this. You know, today in our society, many of us, we don't actually value our belief and our faith. I'm going to talk about it in the Christian aspect now. You know, as a Christian, you know, we are meant to profess our value, which we uh, we, we claim that we are actually standing on. That's to say that if really we can stand on our value or probably hold it and deserve it, or something that we held that is so prestigious to us, we will not be um, carried away by the activities of this life, the activities of the world right now. Because if you look at this to, to today, many believers are in a state of exhaustion, frustration, and depression. That is because they don't really value what they have. Now, as a Christian, we should value our faith, which is Jesus Christ, you know. And also, we should also understand that uh, in the book of Matthew 6, verse 33, that the Bible says that we should seek the kingdom of God and every other Thing shall be added unto us. This is the dispensation that many persons do not believe on this principle. They want to do these things on their own, of which it is very bad. Now, people also say that um, um, for you to be holy uh, is that you will, you have to be, not, for, for holiness uh, has to do with poverty, no, which is a very wrong perspective from the pit of darkness, which many persons have been deceived today and they have actually gone to the wrong side or probably followed the wrong path. Now, if you look at it in Second Corinthians chapter 8, verse 9, we find out that Jesus died, which at every point in time profess our belief, which is our value. What is the belief I will need to profess? That Jesus Christ is Lord and our personal Savior. And we ought to, at every point in time, stand by it, stand by our faith. Now, I will be actually talking uh, on this aspect in three categories. Now, value. Let's talk about value in the aspect of faith. Bible made us to understand in Hebrews chapter uh, chapter 1 that um, faith is a substance of things hoped for, evidence of things not seen. Now, most of the time, we begin to experience situations that at a point we, we, we just conclude that God does not exist, which is a total lie. Now, God is so faithful. Now, don't let the lack of evidence convince you that nothing is happening. Something is actually happening in a sin realm. Now, situations are being changed for your favor. Situations are being amended. In fact, destinies are being restored. Now, the only thing is for us to stay put in faith for these blessings and the promises of God that he has promised and also um, 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 uh, predestined us to be, to come to manifestation in our life. I also talk about value in other aspects too. And before I go there, we also look at, um, if we look at Hebrews chapter Hebrews chapter 1, Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6, you, you also find observe that um, um, it's, it's very, very much impossible to please God without what faith. You understand? So whatever we do, we at every point in time profess our value, which is our faith, and we stand on it. You cannot profess or probably stand on what you don't value. Now, many Christians today, they don't value the fact that God um, can do things 
at the zero hours. Many Christians today don't, don't they don't even value the faith which they profess anymore. They are they are, they are all carried away, they are being distracted. No wonder the devil is so using so many of them as an instrument. In I will shock you to know that in our society today, many are actually suffering in depression, in frustration, and in exhaustion. That was that is because many have lost the focus. Many have gone out of the vision to realize that they need to stand on what they value, which is the faith. Now I will also talk about value in this other aspect too, about uh, obedience. You know. When you actually don't value something, you don't pay more attention to it. That is why I see many Christians today, they don't attend to the words of God. They don't attend to what the Bible is saying. They are so convinced or carried away because the faith is no longer in them. They don't even value what they own, the prestige, the prestigeness of that faith. They don't even value what it can do for them anymore. And also, I also talk about this aspect um, value in the third aspect, which is seeking. Bible made us to understand in Matthew 6, verse 33, that seek ye first the kingdom of God, and every other thing shall be added unto you. This is a big problem that Christians are facing today. You cannot be pursuing fame, you cannot be pursuing attention, you cannot be pursuing, um, 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 I, 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 I would like put it, fashion, you cannot be pursuing your career without seeking first God. You know, when you see God first, every other thing, whatever you are seeking for, will be added unto you. Just like a child paying attention to his dad for a future, um, a future career ahead. So at this point in time, I really want to appreciate everyone that is listening to me right now. One thing we should do at this point in time is that we should hold on to our belief. We should hold on to the faith. That is what we believe on, and that is value. You value the faith, which you value the faith, which will attend to the words of God, and which you seek Him. As many that seek Him is ever ready to listen to such petitions and to restore and to rescue everyone that in any bondage at this moment. Thank you very much. At this point in time, I will be drawing the curtain. But then before I leave, uh, see, I will be using this kind of language now. See, it is impossible. You cannot please God. You're not going to please God when you don't believe in God. So many persons don't be, don't, so many persons don't go far. They don't go far. Some of them, they left, some in the right. But then they don't know where they are. At this point in time, I want to make you examine yourself. As they listen to me, examine yourself. Now, what do you the value for your life? I've been at your business in value past God. I be in that money when you get you value past God. I be in that thing when we say you don't get right now when you value past God. I want us to make we value the word of God. The word of God is what will push us closer to God. The word of God is what will create a relationship for us. So at this point in time, my brother and my sister, how is your Christian life? Do you value your Christian life at this point in time? If they say make you sell your Christian life, how much you go sell them? So I just want to thank you and appreciate and I want you to listen to me. May God bless all of you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you very much. Hello, guys. Thank you so much. I'm super, super, super excited. Thank you guys for bringing me down to... 200 subscribers hooray we are getting there please if you've not subscribed i don't know if you're waiting for eh eh we go no try as much as possible to subscribe share my video like god bless you we will thank you all guys my subscribers for watching and subscribing we are now 200 subscribers <laughs> let's hit the road to 500 subscribers thank you all god bless you bye